Right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Arthur's awake. We're just having a coffee and looking at the chickens. And we've got to pick our next mission. But before we do, let's go and check in on everyone. I don't think we've done Jose's mission yet. If we go over there, we'll start that off straight away. So there's no real need to jump into that straight away. Let's go and talk. Say good morning and... Hi, Arthur. Ladies. Arthur. Hi. Doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Okay, then. Hi, Karen. Hey there. Working hard there? I guess. Well, it won't disturb you. Okay, then. Hey, Karen. Hi, Mary Beth. Here we go. Mr. Mr. Reverend. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. It would be cool if uh, Arthur could actually play the guitar, but you can't actually pick it up, so... Unfortunately, we won't be able to play any tunes. Hey, Arthur! What you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Look at him, he's doing nothing again. He spends a majority of time just sleeping and supposedly thinking. It ain't nothing personal. Sure seems that way to me. Well, you know what? It probably is. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Bloody lazy old bar, can he? He ain't do nothing. Mr. Pearson. Morgan. Okay there, Mr. Morgan. Yep. You okay? How's it all going? Fantastic. All right. Yes. It's Abigail and Jack. Hey, folks. Don't go getting sad just because a woman bested you, Arthur. How do you? Is a boy behaving himself? For the most part. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Yeah, goodbye. All right. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Let me know if you find candy. Talk to them. To Dutch. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, 
Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. Well, I didn't realize we actually triggered a mission. Oh, well, let's do it. Coming past. Okay. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Christ, what on Arthur? earth? What are you doing? Young Jack rides better than you. How many times I gotta say? I ain't an O'Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of them. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Those are the hills. Head for them. 
Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Ha! Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Yeah. 
I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Ah. Don't move. The old man loses it. I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be stood guard duty. Sun up. Look up, boy. Sun down. Soil on my drawers in the spot. Nice. Hey, the next two. What's the plan? We're waiting. Uh, Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. The sooner we get this over with. You on your book? Nice one, Bill. On the camp. I left our guide up there. Sweet. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. I don't want to leave them too long. They might make their own decision yet, so quickly get back down there. Another on the log. What are we doing about him? I'll this take one's it. mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then. Whoa, that was a bit violent, wasn't it? Okay. We're at the perimeter. Uh, who we got? Let's do a uh... Morgan. All right, I'm telling you. Uh... Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing. Right. I'm not worried now. The rifle. You are lying, that little toad.
That's it? They're turning tail! Leave them! Comb's still here. Hey, he said Comb be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. What you got, O'Driscoll? Well, that was a crazy, crazy shootout. Everything went fine until I tried getting that guy, and then they saw me and it all kicked off. See what I can get before I go checking everything in here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then. Go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> Right you are. Right, there's some money in here. Let's have a look. Oh, we can take some stuff as well. This is good. It'll all help out back at camp. We'll give it to Pearson and he can uh, make some meals with it. Alright, so we broke into that box. I think we've taken everything that we can take from in here. Last thing to do is get this cash that will be in the chimney. Oh, and get the shotgun as well.
At least you got something tucked away. Nice, 600. Probably got a bronze there. Yeah, silently kill four, get 12 headshots, complete with accuracy, and complete without taking any health items. Okay. Dead Eye Core's empty. I'll fill that up again in a minute. Snoop the sky. Keep doing that instead of going into the quick field, we're being slow. Right, so we need to head back to the camp, which is there. Okay, let's go.
Okay, I went back and uh, he's just rode off. He thought I wasn't going to help him, so he's gone off over the hill. Yep. Uh, let's go back. I've already done my mission, Jose. Yours will be next. I'm not jumping straight into yours now. Right, we're back. Paid a social call. O'Driscoll wasn't there. We took out most of his men. Now O'Driscoll's uh, mostly gone. But Cole is not going to be happy about what we've just been and done. So that's going to cause more problems for us. But at the moment he doesn't know because he wasn't there when we arrived. So what we're going to do now, we're back at camp, is we're going to call it quits on the video in a moment. I still can't believe you won that game. My lady. You and the boy got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Alright, well, you let me know. Sure. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm -hmm. While we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. He said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? I like to think so. Oh, home near the camp is at an old time high. Let's leave her to eat. Ah, oh, we can get some food and things now. Pearson's made some stuff. Karen. Arthur. Everyone's favorite uncle. Where's Jack wandered off to? If 
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Sorry, is there any way we can leave this until later? Oh, all right. Not a problem, Mr. Morgan. Kieran, Kieran. Mr. Arthur. What's Jack doing out here? Hey, Jack. Hello. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. You take care now. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Well, no one's concerned that he's, like, just outside of the camp and anyone can grab him. He's, yeah, you're all right. You stay where you are and carry on. Huh? Pearson. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Yes. Well, no, you're appreciated around here. Okay. Don't see much of Tilly, that's a uh, little... Hey there. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. Well, what's hey, happened Arthur. to you while I've been away? Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? Well, why did I not get time to answer the question? Let's get this marker off, we don't need it now. Good, honest fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope, really. <laughs> I can't. Right, that's going to be it for this part. So I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. I'm going to try and get them done mission by mission. And uh, try not to drag it all out too long. So if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Helps walk the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see Mr. you Morgan. on the next video. Bye bye for now. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Okay, so we just found out that Mary's been sniffing around as well. So that's another thing that Arthur could be doing very soon in a mission. Going to see her, see what she's after, or something like that. So, yeah, just because that bit of extra commentary came in before I finished, then now we'll leave the video there. So, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye for now.